Your Excellency, Mr. Yu Yongming, the Minister of uh, Science and ICT. Your Excellency, Mr. Su Bing Su, Mayor of Busan. Excellencies, Honorable Ministers, Ambassadors, Chief of uh, Industries, Regulators, dear colleagues, dear friends, good morning to you all. Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2017. I want to express my thanks to President Meng Jae-jin, who was instrumental in bringing telecom to Busan, and for his commitment to ITU and to the ICT industry. In a few minutes, the President will address us in a video message. Thank you to Korea's Minister of Science and ICT, Mr. Yu Yongming. Mr. Minister, your country has been a strong partner of ITU for many years now. We are delighted to be back to Korea and to Busan where we had our last ITU plenary potential conference 2014 here in Busan, but also we had our previous ITU Telecom Asia 2004 in Busan. I'm proud to be an honorable citizen of this great city after my election as the 19th Secretary General of ITU. So this morning I talked with the minister. Our minister said he was born in Busan. I told him I was born in Busan as well. <laughs> so let me take this opportunity to thank the mayor of Busan, Metropolitan City, Mr. Su Bing Su. Korea topped ITU's global ICT Development Index Rankings in 2016, once more again, for the second straight year. At the heart, Busan is one of the world's leading smart cities and a pioneer of the Internet of Things. The mayor just uh, very proud to announce that uh, Busan now becomes the heart of the uh, ICT world. Yes, indeed, it is. We are also grateful to our friends from the United Arab Emirates and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, together with uh, industry partners, Korea Telecom, for their support and sponsorship of ITU and ITU Telecom World. Of course, we also thank the other sponsors. Thank you. The success of ITU Telecom rests on collaboration and partnership. Thank you all for your presence and support. Ministers, head of telecom agencies, industry leaders, SMEs, and friends of telecom for your valuable and active participation in this event. Your presence here today at this opening ceremony is a testimony to your dedication and commitment to working together. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, information and communication technologies have become indispensable in our digital era, ICTs drive the world's economy and the transformation of our societies. Two years ago today, the world came together to adopt the Sustainable Development Goals in the United Nations with a central promise to leave no one behind. IT, ICTs will play a key role in the success of the SDGs. If we look back, we see how much progress has been made in connecting the world over recent years. Who could have 
predetected pre that today, 95% of the global population would live in an area covered by a mobile network. And the ITU's Connected 2020 strategy, we are working together across the ICT ecosystem and within the framework of the SDGs to achieve our shared vision of a sustainable social and economic development for everyone. The digital economy continues to grow and expand. Smart technologies change how we work, communicate, and do businesses. We have moved from smartphones to smarter electricity, smarter agriculture, smart manufacturing, smart transport, smart health, smart education, smart government, and smart cities. But still, and yet, 3.9 billion people are not connected online yet. So we still have a lot of challenges, and we have to continue to work hard to connect people, to leave nobody behind as soon as possible. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, as you know, we are constantly trying to innovate and improve our events. For the first time this year, all three ITU sectors, sector of uh, Standardization Bureau, Development, and Radio Communication have come together at Telecom to organize a pavilion, workshops, and activities to address these challenges. It is an opportunity for all of us to connect with each other, forge new partnerships, and create new businesses opportunities. So ladies and gentlemen, tech SMEs are critical to industry disruptions, market growth, and job creation in both developed and developing markets. So it's not only for developing markets, but also for developing markets as well. They are called to have a crucial role to play in stimulating economic and social growth, accelerating innovation, digital industry inclusion, and the development of smart societies. I'm happy to see many SMEs here today from the host country and from the rest of the world. We are going to have a full range of activities and events focused on SMEs throughout this event. We are fortunate to meet in a city and a country, the Republic of Korea, home to so many SMEs, digital startups and entrepreneurs, including KICT. I'm pleased that our host, Busan City, and the member of the Korea industry of ICT intend to use this telecom as a platform to facilitate contact and partnerships among all participants. They have organized a series of meetings this week, and I hope we will take full advantage of it. I'm also looking forward to the ITU Telecom World Awards. It is important to celebrate the excellence and the innovation in ICT solutions with a social impact. Many previous participants are joining us again this year as sponsors, speakers, and exhibitors with their experiences of the previous events. Their success stories are a constant source of inspiration. I would like to conclude by quoting one of them who said, we have got a treasure from ITU Telecom World. So let's treasure the opportunities this week to make a lasting impact. It is my hope and my dream that in the future, the ITU Telecom platform will become the place of choice for all those 
seeking to promote the rule of the tech SMEs. Smart digital transformation of global opportunities. Let us work together to bring more and more people into the smarter society of the future. Thank you very much.